everybody. I am back with a recipe for the new year. I'm gonna make a slow cooker Mexican chicken, and this is so good. I can't tell you how good the house smells. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I have my slow cooker pan right here, and I can brown in this, but I just like my cast iron skillet so much. So I have three chicken breasts, and I've already browned them just in a little olive oil with salt and pepper. And these chicken breasts are big. So this is probably, I'm gonna say a little over two pounds of chicken. So it's gonna make right much. And I've already browned them on both sides. So I'm just gonna place them in the slow cooker. And when you brown them, you just get so much more flavor. So I think it's, um, you know, it's not crucial, but it does give your chicken a lot more flavor. So you're gonna die when you see how easy this is. So the chicken breasts are in the slow cooker. I'm gonna add a can, a 14 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. In they go. And I'm gonna add a can of Rotel. This is, I think it's mild. My husband does not love too spicy. So this is a can of mild Rotel. Then I'm gonna add two of these chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. I've never really known how to pronounce that, so if I didn't say it right, please forgive me. You can use two or three, and again, just depending on how much heat you like. So these go right in. And then I'm gonna add a can of black beans that have been rinsed and drained. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oregano. And you know, when you cook, you can just kind of eyeball it. So I'm eyeballing it. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, oops, <laughs> onion powder, and chili powder. And it already smells good. Maybe I'm just smelling what I've got cooking over there to show you, but this is just gonna be a fabulous recipe. All right, so that is it. And you just wanna give that a little bit of a stir. You put it in the crock pot, I mean in the cooker. Put the lid on, whatever the lid might be. And then I'll show you what you come up with. Okay, so I cooked this on high for four hours. You could cook it a little bit longer if you wanted to put it on low. And um, it just does make your whole house smell very delicious. Okay, so now I'm gonna take two forks and you just start to shred. Oh my gosh, let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like. It's just, it smells so good. And so you just wanna to start to shred the chicken with two forks, but it's really falling apart. It's not hard at all. You see how quickly it's going. The chicken is just falling apart. So I'm mixing it all in with the sauce. And so when I was making this, I started to think how good it would be as a soup also. So I think if you wanted to make it a soup, you could just add a carton of chicken broth as it's cooking, and it would make a really great hearty soup, kind of spicy. You could serve it with cornbread, that would be delicious. You could serve it with tortilla chips crumbled up on the top. So you just have this delicious shredded chicken. And so I'm gonna serve this on a tortilla. And um, the, uh, the other way that I've, I'm gonna show you to make it is just as nachos. You know, I just started thinking there's so many variations. So you could take this and put it on a big pile of tortilla chips and sprinkle cheese over it and then brown the cheese in the oven and serve it for Super Bowl. That would be delicious. Okay, so I've got my tortilla. And then I've got my shredded chicken. Just gonna put a little bit right here. 
a little bit more. Sprinkle it with cheese. A little bit of chopped cilantro. And then I'm gonna put a slice of lime. Don't wanna burn myself here. I'm gonna put a slice of lime on the side just because I think with all of the heat, where's my lime? I'm not the neatest cook in the world. You could do so many different things. So maybe a couple of cherry tomatoes. Just a little bit of um, something that's not cooked to break up the, the heat of the chicken. And so, I mean, that took no time. It took no time to put it together. You just leave it for four hours, you shred the chicken and you serve it. And this is just such a great thing. So the other way I wanna show you is just to take, I'm not gonna do this because I don't know that I wanna eat all these tortillas tonight, but just to take the shredded chicken, place it on top of the tortilla, put your shredded cheese on top, put this whole thing, I would use a baking pan, put the whole thing under the broiler and oh my gosh, this would be such a delicious appetizer. So this dish is really versatile, it's very, very easy and I'm just gonna taste it. I tasted it a little bit with just the sauce but I didn't taste the chicken, so I'm trying to get a small bite here. Mm. 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 Hot, but really, really good. And one thing that I didn't mention, oh, it's spicy, it's so good, is that um, when you brown your chicken breast in a little olive oil and salt and pepper. So that is my dinner for tonight. Let me show you again. It's pretty, it's healthy, it's delicious. So thanks for watching.